what's up guys all right so today we're gonna be doing some coyote hunting i just spray painted my rifle and we also spray painted some tripods and stuff but if you click this link right here it'll show you how i spray painted my rifle and we're actually out here testing my last video i said we're gonna come out and test it so that's what we're doing right now we're out here gonna try to test it see if uh the camo looks good out hunting so we're out here we're gonna try to get a couple coyotes we're gonna cut straight to the chase try to get some coyotes out um, and some pretty good land. I'm pretty sure we'll call in a couple, but first we're gonna stop and get the bare essentials You know food uh, some gas. You think we're gonna get a couple? I'm thinking we're gonna get three coyotes three possible cat. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, there's always a possibility of cats so I'm pretty sure we're gonna put, get at least a couple like he said. Uh, I know we're gonna see some but let's get right into it I got that. Bare necessities. Yeah monster red bull Monster, do you mix your energy drinks? You'll stay up for 48 hours straight. Just passing out. Man. <laughs> we're going on a day hunt, yep. but we're get, might last till night. So, canyon coolers that's gonna stay in there for at least three days. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> awesome cooler. You put your ice in this thing, that, I'm serious, it's gonna stay in here for a couple days. Easy. So, also, oh, we should throw a couple waters in there too, huh? I guess, I guess we are a little healthy on our hunt. This is the first inn. We're gonna walk up over this ridge and there's a nice valley down there. Um, hopefully we can pull a coyote out of it. If we can, it'd be the perfect spot to rifle one. bush in the way for you? No, perfect. Oh really? I shot through a bush. We got him. I love this stand. First stand of the day. Got him. That's what our fourth coyote we've ever called in from here. That's awesome. We don't normally like calling the same stand multiple times a year. This is our second time at this stand this year. But we were driving through and we figured might as well stop, stop by and give it a go, you know? We're driving through and this one's just one of our favorite ones, so we couldn't pass him up. He came from the bottom down here, so he came from behind us, circled down, and then went through the bottom and funneled up to this canyon like we wanted him to, so that's awesome. First one, how far was he? Let's see. He wasn't that far. Let's see. About 70 yards. You can see I'm using my Vortex optics here. I love this rangefinder. Yeah, about 70 yards. So, he was clear as day. You had like a perfect view of him. Did he just drop in his tracks? Drop. Yep. Sweet, because for me, he kept stopping right behind the bushes. So right there, he was at the edge of a bush to where there was like nothing really in front of him, but just a little bit of twigs. And I was like, you know what? He's probably not going to come closer because it looked like he kind of was like getting kind of iffy. To me, it did at least. And I mean, it was a perfect shot still. So let's go walk up on him. He looked like a, a pretty good sized coyote. Did he do you? Yeah. He blended in really good. Every time we sit here, we call one in. It's crazy. You guys notice we use two. We use the one on the Lucky Duck and an extra visual. There's a lot of cats out here, so. Yeah, there's a lot of cats, so we were hoping maybe to call in a cat, so. Cats are very visual hunting. He's about probably 20, 30 yards from the calls over here in these bushes somewhere. I there he is. To, I was able to smell him. <laughs> he stinks. Yeah, he, he wasn't the best smelling coyote. That's a good looking one, though. He's a nice one. Wow, fur saving rounds. Yeah, uh, not this year's pup. 
a little bit older. He's got some nice coloring on his teeth. Let me see his teeth. Yeah. Look at those teeth. That's not this year's pup. You can see he's got some nice coloring on his teeth, and his teeth aren't real pointy. A pup's teeth are real sharp. They don't have that plaque buildup. Let's see. Oh, yeah. See, I shot him facing me. As you guys can see, just a pinhole of an entrance. No exit. Yeah, this guy don't smell too good. It just rained out here. He smells not the best smelling one, but that's a nice dog right there. Nice. Beautiful shot. Male. Nice male. Perfect shot. That that shot, if you guys are comfortable enough to make that, like I said, if you're into saving fur, when they're facing you and you put it right there where I shot them, it never exits. And, I mean, pinhole. Just, you can't ask for a better shot. And there's no way he would have saw us up there. We are no. so cameled up. Yeah. I'm going to turn and, and show them. So we are sitting up on that ledge. To the right. And the rifle is... Right, there's the tripod. Keep going right. Oh, yeah, there's my right. bag. Keep going right. Right there's your rifle. Tripod, rifle, everything set up right there. And it's just absolutely camouflaged. That new rifle is... That paint yeah. job worked out. Before, before you literally would be able to see that thing like clear as day. Now we actually had a hard time actually spotting it, but that, that proves that it worked. I mean, it proved on him. All right, guys, you know it now. You heard it here. Paint those rifles. Another tip, if you guys are gonna hunt coyotes, get something to drag them with. I'm using this little tail stripper to drag them with, but some companies make like a whole thing you could put over your body to drag them saves your hands a hundred percent. Your hand cramps up like crazy dragging these things barehanded. Bunch of coyote tracks. Yeah, they go up through these valleys here. See, he was in this low wash and uh, if he would have continued straight, he would have saw, he probably did see. The one on the Lucky Duck's not on anymore, but he saw them shaking. So he was creeping down this wash. Eventually, if he got real close, he would have saw what they are, but notice, we kind of hide them in bushes, the bases of them in bushes, and we let the, you know, the little decoy spin on top. That's all they're able to see. They're not able to see the base of those. So it's pretty cool. If he would have got real close, he would have saw it, but he wouldn't have got that close. Adrian would have took him out. All right, so when you're a YouTuber, uh, you gotta take a bunch of pictures, obviously. We're gonna post these to Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram because you guys are gonna see more of an up-to-date kind of thing that we're doing day by day. So this is gonna be on my story. We're gonna post pictures of this and everything. And you guys can also get updated on when our videos are posted because a lot of times we'll put a post on when a video is posted because a lot of people are telling me that YouTube's actually not sending them notifications or that some, recently they actually made some people unsubscribed, which is weird, but. Uh, that's just another way to follow us if you guys want to. Perfect. So. Make sure this is still on. I'm sorry, just lift them. All right, guys, we just finished out that stand. Let's go ahead and make a couple more. Everything's perfect today. Weather's good. You guys can see we got overcast, it's kind of chilly. And uh, camel worked out, everything worked out like a charm. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't get one or two more for the day comes to an end. So we sit about 20 minute stands. And at about the 20 minute mark, I'll pull my binos out. And uh, I'll give everything a quick scan. Cause sometimes, you know, there'll still be something moving in. I only do it on the stands where you can see really far. Cause sometimes something will still be moving in and you want to make sure you can see it before you before you stand up we're gonna go ahead and move country a little bit uh, we have a feeling that this gets hammered really hard we did pull the one the first stand but every time we call they start howling at us from far so usually that's a sign that they're called at and they're really pressured in this area so we're gonna go ahead and move and see if we can't get on some some different coyotes all right so that was stand number two uh, we didn't call nothing some were howling at us our wind kind of switched directions mid stand but it's all right i'm gonna let senior run a couple stands and uh, after that, we're going to call it a day. It's going to get dark fast here, so let's go ahead and move.
So I literally almost became a coyote's lunch. Senior was sitting to the left of me, and uh, I was sitting to the right of him, and then I just hear cuckoo. And well, the first coyote popped up to the right. I couldn't see him, so Senior shot him, and I couldn't even see him, so I didn't get him on film. But that second one, I hear cuckoo, cuckoo. I, I could hear him running behind me. I look over, and there's a coyote sitting behind me, literally about two yards away, just looking at me, and then he books it. Check it out, guys. First stand that I've sat in a long time. Called in a double. I know I dropped the one, the second one. He, he smelled us, started to run. I was going to take a running shot, but he stopped for half a second. But um, beautiful coyote. I got to see it right before I shot it. And uh, The first one was big. The first one, I, yeah. No, I, I mean the second one. I mean the second one was huge. Yeah, the first one I squeezed on him. He was looking right at me. He dropped. You might have got him on film, though, because the camera was turned that way. Let's go check him out. Looking back at it, I think that I did get this first one on film. Looks like his broadside when you shot him. Oh, that's another, dang, dang that's a nice coyote too. Oh, that's a big one. All right, so, so this is the first one I shot. It was about 35 yards. He stopped, faced me. He stopped and faced me and just like Adrian shot from the front, this one's a little bit more bloody. So I won't show it. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, say that again. I didn't have you in frame. It's kind of hard to do it like this. I got a, I got a shot right, right below the neck area. Pretty much a heart shot from the front. This one's a little bit more bloody than Adrian's, but beautiful coyote. Look at. Um, I don't think he's still him. I don't think he like might a be year and a half. Pup. Uh, uh, a year and a half. Yeah, probably a year and a half. Dang, he's got, he's got some serious fur on him though. Look. How long this guy's fur is, my finger sticks, my finger will stick all the way through his pelt. So this one's real furred up right here. The crazy thing about Super the, furred up. the second Jeez. one is it, it ran here. The second one ran here and looked at this one and, and then took off running. And that's when I took the shot. So we'll try to follow its tracks. This thing's got nice pelt on it too. So sweet. Where'd you take the shot at the second? Got well, the, the second Kyle looks like he got a haircut. We're looking for blood and stuff, can't find it, but what we did find is some hair, so there's no blood around this area. Second shot was rushed. Like I said, he came quick and he took off. He actually ran like 10 yards behind Adrian and took off. And when, when I turned my gun and everything and I looked, it was like, it was either when he turned and looked to see what the heck scared him. I had half a second and right as he turned, he looked back for half a second and he started to run and I squeezed. So I thought maybe I hit him. Looking back at the footage, we'll show you a clip right here. Um, we don't think it happened. Might have just missed him. Yeah, you definitely cut his hair. There's a lot of hair on him. No blood, no nothing. He ran, he ran off normal, so he's he survived. He's a goner, but we got one of them. It probably was a male-female duo, to be honest, because they're probably getting about that time of year where they're going to start thinking about each other, you know? So you're gonna start doing partnering up. Yeah, not one yeah. drop of blood. He's gone. He got lucky. We got one more to add to the collection. Don't get my license back. No. Snake's so bad in here. Yeah. For some reason that coyote stinks. He must have been wet or something, you know? Two. There awesome. it is, we got two. Let's go. That's the end of the day. Hopefully we call in another double so I can redeem myself. This is it. Let's go.
should have waited. Shot him. This grass is a little too tall. I was looking over here. Yeah, and he was, I'm saying he was down there. It was this way? Yeah. Then there was two. Cause no, it was the same one I was watching the whole time. So he went that way and cut left? Yeah. These ones came in close too. Holy cow. All right, so we're going to call it a day now. Uh, we ended up with two. We called in like four or five. I don't know. We called in quite a bit today, but the problem is. We were trying to put most emphasis on the rifle today, and we weren't really packing a shotgun most of the time, which is a problem. You know, they say bring the shotgun. We preach bringing the shotgun too, and the one day we don't bring it, we need it the most out of any day we've ever needed it. So bring the shotgun. That's the life lesson of today. Always, always, always bring the shotgun. But we still had awesome days. You can see we got two nice coyotes here. Also in this thick stuff, like I was saying, bring the shotgun, because if you're going to hunt thick stuff like we just were today, Odds are you're gonna need it. This is end of story. But real quick, I'm gonna give a shout out to one right gear. Awesome camouflage here, as you can tell. I'm wearing the whole get go. I even got the bino harness. This one's made by County Six Predator calls. Awesome bino harness. Got a range finder. Got my binos and whatever else I need. I got some hand calls in there. But um, also big shout out to Ken Coolers. Kept our drinks cold all day long. We still got a whole bag of ice in there. These pelts are gonna go in there. These pelts we're gonna go ahead and skin them out. Skin these two coyotes out, and we're gonna board them up. And uh, they're going to be off to the fur, fur market pretty much. Also, I want to give a big thank you to Hunter's Hall. They gave us a lot of stuff that we use all the time. Uh, those monthly boxes, I have stuff that I'm using day to day that I got in my Hunter's Hall. It's actually right here. I even got this dang uh, call in a Hunter's Hall. See, you can see I, I use them every single time I come out. So those are cool. Links are down in the description to everything I use today. Um, I got promo codes for a lot of it, like this one right here. Promo code Sin City can save you 10% off all your purchases. It'll let Joel know that we sent you there. Get 10% off everything, which is a cool deal. But other than that, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.